Yo, it's OG Lava right here on Fam TV. Just remember the three P's. If you want to be popular, you got to be positive and progressive. Wow! Fam TV, OGLava.com. This is Bigly the one and only, and you're watching Fam TV. I am Naomi Nwanyoma Hatshepsut Abiola, and you are watching Fam TV. Peace to the world, it's Black Youth Jobs. And you're watching Fam TV. Big up to Fam TV. Continue to do the important work that you're doing. We have big things ahead. Think big. Always think big, but make even bigger things happen. In the right hands with Fam TV. Yeah, Toronto's your man, DJ Kobe J. And you're subscribed and watching Fam TV. It's Zan, aka Blast Void. You're watching Fam TV. Family! <laughs> We need to now be reminded of that fact. So I'm going to read to you. <coughs> this was a letter that was written by Lord somebody, like a Lord, I don't know what they were today. Some political leader, right? And they were writing it because they were sent to Africa to see how they could uh, travel in Africa, how they could, uh, yes, exactly, how they could take over the people. So they went over to spy on the land, basically, and to gather some information, do some research and then send it back to England. And this is what he had to say. So his name is Lord Macaulay. I have traveled across the length and the breadth of Africa, and I have not seen one person who is a beggar. I have not seen a person who is a thief. Such wealth I have seen in this country. Such high moral values. People of such caliber that I do not think we could ever conquer this country unless we break the very backbone of this nation, which is a spiritual and cultural heritage. Those are the two things, the spiritual heritage and the cultural heritage. If we can steal that from them, we break their backbone, okay? And uh, I propose that we replace her old an ancient education system. Who told you that we never had an education system? That someone else had to give us an education. But here it's telling us that we had an ancient education system. We had and still have a culture. For if the Africans think that all that is foreign and all that is English is good and greater than their own, they will lose their self-esteem. They'll lose their native culture, right? Because remember, it's culture and spirituality. They will lose their native culture, and they will become what we want them, a truly dominated nation. And this was written in 1835, February 2nd. Thank you for sharing this. Wow. Thank you. Who voted? Uh, I don't know who voted. Uh, so sir, sir, something. McCullough. McCullough. Yeah, Lord, yeah, Lord McCullough. M-A-C-A-U-L-A-Y. Lord McCullough. Yeah. McCullough. Yeah. And he was the president of the Lord McCullough. The British politics. Any reactions, any thoughts based on what we just heard? To be perfectly honest, I thought it would have been based on the date that it was earlier, you know, because they've been trying to break us since probably Christianity, you know? So I thought it was a little earlier. So um, based on what you're saying, to me, then, what it shows is that although it was in the 1800s, right, that means our character was still intact. Our virtues, our morality, right, was still intact. Yes. You know? yeah. But they worked on it, they worked on it. Now they're achieving it. They're achieving So, what year was that? 1835. When did slavery abolish? 1865 in the United States. But it was 1830 something. 
in yeah. England. Okay. Yeah. So, in other words, maybe they replaced the institution of slavery with the yeah. church and the education. Yeah. Modern day slavery. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Make us corrupt. Yeah. Exactly. That's that, that makes a lot of sense. So, from the physical slavery. They recognized at that point that they needed to start to control our culture mm -hmm. as mental slavery now. Yes. Then they come with all yeah. the writings and start implementing those and making those a reality. Yes. Yeah. Which so, is still in effect today and now. Which is exactly what Jack is saying is, is, is what we are talking about at this moment. What's going on now? Right? How have we arrived to the, to the place? where all guns are aimed against us, and I dare say even our own guns are aimed against us. us. Yes. You know what I mean? So how are we now to uh, reconcile ourselves in this moment? Right? How are we to change things? I think first we have to realize that knowing that all the guns are pointed at us still says we are the God of this planet. Yes. Yes. That's yes. what we have yes. to realize. Yes. And then when we take ownership of our Godship, yes. then we can go to the next level. Yes. When we stop looking at each other like you're from Jamaica, you're from this, I'm not talking to you because of this and that yes. and whatever. Mm -hmm. Black Panther, the movie, basically said how, uh, I guess the Western world is looking at Africa. We're angry. Because they look at us like we're substandard. Right. And we are not. We are the combination of all the great nations of Africa. Yes. And the world. So, yeah. Yes. yes, indeed. I'd like to start to that. Christianity. I am a Bible believer. Kind of. But a black story. If you I'm looking for the spectacle of this. It's possible. This Mount Zion is possible. This um, Jamaica, this dance, this wreck is possible. And this song about Ethiopia, this sister of Bob Mali, it's possible to believe that there is a black king or king, Lord of Lords, country and chapter. To the point where I read a story in the book of Papa. You know what Yeah. Book of Wisdom, chapter one, chapter two. Take all you, you know of who you are as a you know his like black brother. And I dare you to check to, to chapter one, chapter two. Chapter one, two, kind of funny. But hold tight. You finish chapter two. Blow you away. Yeah. Take what you got though. Yeah. You're gonna need it. Chapter one, chapter two. What's the name of the book? The book of Wisdom of a Chapter 1, Chapter 2. Okay. Beautiful. It's important what uh, Brother John is saying, right? Because that's what Marcus Gavin taught, taught me as well. He said, because the way they have contaminated the ancient texts, we have to read it through the spectacles of Ethiopia. When you first hear of Moses, you don't hear of Moses on the River Thames in England or Venice in Italy. He's on the River Nile, right in the bosom of Africa. Right? So you know where this whole concept began. I went to their university. I'm a high school dropout, by the way. But I went to their universities. And um, I studied their scholars and their acad academia. And they used to teach us, or they teach us a couple of things. Number one. They say in the churches that the world is 6,000 years of age, old. Anything prior to 4,000 BCE, they refer to as pre-history, pre-their story. Right? So Empress, when you said that we are the gods on the planet, you're absolutely right, because they just grafted into humanity. They're very new. There's nothing ancient about European or Asian people on this planet. Yeah, I mentioned that's a very important point that you brought up because a part of the mental the mental slavery that, that we're on, that we're under is because we actually have to teach and, and read 
create and administer our own curriculum. Because what you just said is valid for them. That's their perspective on, on the world and, and their story, right? But well, our story is, is continuous, yes. right? And I want to give an example because from ancient of days in Kemet and these, in these places, they always recorded the history. Why were they always recording history and they, they kept, they maintained that high school? You see what I mean? To, to keep that connection to themselves, right? So for us to really, uh, you know, uh, complete reconstruction and these things after, after colonialism and whatnot, we have to readapt our own education system. Um, the, 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 the methods methodologies, right, of recording. And exactly, and the ways of thinking, because we were tricked, because they give the power to the cell of that thing, right? That's one of the, the, the tactics that they use. Yeah, right? yeah. You're seeing it here in Toronto with Drake. Yeah. You don't to want us to be shooting up people, you don't want us to do things, but then you have Drake with the Raptors and thing. And none of them see nothing wrong with that. With that. Well, you see what I mean? So. It's but, funny you brought that up. It's funny we brought that up because that goes that goes right into what we're talking about tonight, too about be it right now this current situation. Because I mean, <clears throat> this guy Drake, he's an entity in the city right now, and and as far as as far as I'm concerned, he has his hands in every hood in the city, and he's connected his main his main connection to the to the low income areas of the city is is responsible for the worst shooting in Toronto history dancing nobody has turned the eye on Drake as of yet <clears throat> and he hasn't spoken about the and he hasn't said a word as a matter of fact in his music if you take in the tonality of his music it's getting more Gangster. He had never came from a gangster place, but he has a song of rest and road flows, which is actually kind of kind of validating his street, street appeal, right? You know, which is not because I mean, we all know. But we're just talking about the influencer. We're just talking about influencing, and the and the aspects of influence. Um, you know, and I'm pretty. Uh, speaking about some of those things because I actually. Experience and good man witness something uh, one of the bridges and, and he knows the bridge and I can see is a thing where you know because I and I is not organized and I'll say that because let me say that, that I might say that then. because I and I is not organized you see what I'm saying I can't really deal with that bridge so because that bridge was very stuck in his ways bridge you see what I mean and they need the guidance. It is, is a responsibility, and these things is not there. So, bridging to the power of my majesty, I don't see these cars around them. And, you know, people actually kind of change their life in certain things, right? But then at the same time, this is what people think they're fooling somebody. Because at the same time, people are supposed to be progressing. You have Drake doing what he's doing, and he ended up with the raptor. Right? Next thing you know, the, the brethren got murdered. You see what I'm saying? And at what point then? So Drake knows the brethren and takes things. What it is the brethren is actually doing, like I'm waiting for these people to manifest something worthwhile with education, with making money and doing business and what's really going on. I was watching a, a documentary about our inventors. And everybody, whoever knows the story about Madden, they don't have the rights and they sell it to somebody and take yep. the thing. What, is, what does the, how does the community, how does the people, the race in a sense then, right? And whoever's buying into that thing, right? Buying into that whole system and methodology. You know, where, where is the uh, investment in your own people? That's a, I think that's, that's, a key, that's a very key point, right? Investing in your own people because His Imperial Majesty spoke about the need for us to organize and with all due respect, we do have a lot of organizations in our communities, right? But he, the second part of his, uh, his thesis 
was to centralize. Right? And I think this is where we're at now. Because of the different fragments in our community, so many people are doing so many things. Yeah. And a lot of us are doing a lot of powerful and positive things. But we haven't yet somehow centralized our efforts, right? Okay. So, for example, um, you know, the, uh, the analogy I like was the incandescent light bulb. The electrons are diffused, so they illuminate the room, right? But they cannot heal the eye if you have cataracts. They cannot unclog the heart if you have an, a blocked artery. But those same electrons could heal the eye and unblock the heart if they flow in alignment, like a laser. Same electrons but they're just flowing coherently in one direction, right? And at this moment in time, with everything that's happened to us, we have to begin our healing journey to heal from the harm and the trauma, right? But in order for us to heal, we have to travel the road together, right? Uh, so you need to do this? Okay. Yeah. Or you need a microphone? I don't mind what's projected, but maybe others don't. Okay. Um, Some of us are just naturally <laughs> loud. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry. So, um, Sister Love? Well, for me, seeing this and seeing how Toronto is right now, we moved away in 99. And what I'm seeing, we are further behind than when we were there in 99. In my older kids went to public school, my younger ones, we homeschooled them. But in the public school, when it was Black History Month, we took control of that school. You see, my husband used to do um, a little snippet, just like a two minute snippet, that they would announce over the PA every day. You know, uh, we would do the um, you know how the, I don't know, the little display boards, the, mm -hmm. the center, yes. whatever. Yep. Yep. We would decorate that. Why are we always asking someone else to yourself. look out for our children? Mm -hmm. Take the time, it'll be like however out of your day. But our biggest vested interests are our children. And we're talking about why are we asking Drake for anything? First of all, he's not all us. He's half us. You know, but the point is, usually when you get an entertainer or whatever, they've already signed a contract. They can only do so much for the community, even if they wanted to do more. The community has to stand up on its own. You know? Yeah, but the example is good. That, that's an excuse, right? And it's a lot to do with our lack of education. What I mean by excuse? Virgin restaurant, she could open up a restaurant with that same Virgin and the two of them supposed to, the two of them supposed to include the community like in a co-op, turn it into a co-op. No, I understand what you, you're you know saying, what I mean? yes. but usually the person who has the money is in control. That's so, I agree with you, but that's so bullshit because like so many things. We but that's what we do. We should own sports. Do, should does, own does anybody sports here know Dr. Claude Anderson? Yeah, yeah. yeah. understood, because understood. They were already doing that before us. They, were, they got the money before us. They got the experience and exposure before us. I don't know why they don't get the education, but fine, they're there. And none of them don't own, us, own some kind of professional sport yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say something like, yeah, yeah. But we have to just make sure it's moderated. Yeah. Yeah. For 6,000 years, this is the last 400. Yeah. Continue, brother. Next year, 400 years is up. You gotta know you're the Israelites. It's hard to believe. That there is this Jesus, black, from Ethiopia, that's the region. 
who understands guys like Hitler and understand the guy who's Muslim and the guys. Bigger than us. The Pope and the secret this and the science this and believe me, it's not a regular thing. You say vampires, it's not a joke. They suck, they suck your blood. That's why you feel a Nazi had to say centralized modern this of Africa. And hence the islands should have at least follow and pick up on Silas. Some of them are few. You don't want even to set markers, guy. It's hard. But well, because it leads to a black god. That's the problem. Dr. J on that point here. Uh, it wasn't easy for people in the West Indies or even Africans to pick up a scar to really focus on their brain after slavery. But even before slavery, they were driven into a submissive state where they were not even allowed to think. Trauma Janet. And then a book was pushed into the face and said, This is the word of God. That's right. And you gotta believe it, right? And you gotta trust. You gotta become this. So they did that to enter into our religion, which is totally nothing to do with humility, mm -hmm. right? Because all the European beast doctrine. But what happened even after this time was, West Indians and Africa are so indoctrinated into this people. It's hard for them to really see where they really come from to be. Mm. So the centralism and organize is a difficult task for me. You can't be still stuck in that colonial mind mm. of this self, this me. Right? And they don't see the brother and sister. They see a white God. Yeah, yeah. It's that's for half that. It's that's that they for half that. They buy the life. They stop it. They don't feel the life. No, 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 no. Tricked and worked that can change them, but they have to still talk about each in Ethiopia. Yeah, they change the Because they can't, white people cannot live to even that knowledge. Because what they did, they can't. What they did, sorry. When, when they took the original book and they translated it, right? They translated it into the Latin book, the German canon, right? The, the, uh, the Septuagint translated the book. Before they even came to the King James Version. Well, when it was going to the King James Version, they took the Latin Concave German Canon to the England. And the university, they were translated the book when they had fire. Right? The Ethiopian book survived the fire when it came back to Ethiopia. It's got, it's got, it's got. They take the rest of the books and they translate and create the King James Version by it, which is the only the standard English edition. Right? It's not the original edition, it's a copy. And when they translate languages, the meanings change. So what you know as English today came from many languages that were speak, spoken before. That was our language. Right? But because of the indoctrination, they were kept away from that part of their history. Right? Your language was took, taken from you, your, your, your culture, everything, the spirituality was taken. <laughs> Today, people are waking up now to the reality of the realization that they were, they were tricked. They know now for a fact that they were lying to. <coughs> now people are seeing how rich they were, how rich the ancestors were in Ethiopia, in the Sudan, right, in South Africa, in Mexico even, where the Africans used to live. In, in India, the Africans used to live. In, right, long before the Europeans were put from. The Europeans as Colombia, they say Colombia is coming and meet and come and they come here. Well, the Africans were living here too, the all night people. That's right. Right? So they didn't discover anything. What they did, they, they were in fighting, they hide it. That's right. They push it down, though, and push it to front. Right. And say, oh, we discovered this and we discovered that. But well, that's what the story for the African people. Sure. Not one of these European countries, <coughs> engineers, could, could construct a pyramid. Today. None. Right. None. But you don't have the technology. That's the part they never got. That's right. they, they can never, up to today, translate those hieroglyphs right. from the Egyptians or the Somalians. They're also still studying the Alhambra. Yeah, they're still studying it. They so, but in other words, each one here to be up to know something. The part that they really took from you as a portion of the human is his spirituality. That's the number one key. 
right? We are born a spirit in a human form. So, because we have to take the human form to live on this planet for our ancestors are spiritual people. We came from a high region of God. We are just droplets of God on this one. But we were divided by a conquer, a people who conquered the rest of the people. And indoctrinate you into the European mindset. So you have to put that all the way down and gather up yourself. And come together and be one. Right? On that note, coming together and being one, we want to now um, come to some consensus on how we achieve that. Because we speak about it all the time. You know, Bob Marley, from Marcus Gandhi. We're in a, a situation right now where we are in the last days, literally, right? And uh, I'm gonna ask my brother here, who was given a message that he was inspired to share with us, right? The essence of what it is that we need to know. I get up and down, free it. He said, I want to want them people that they must see the kingdom of heaven before it's too late. But no one can have denied that is judgment. And it's the ancient chapters. So, my brother and sister, this is a message to you. But believe God, believe in God, to straighten your head. And if you don't believe in God, you see the people. And a, a virgin of mine passed away. He, he, he gave me a vision that he gave from the back, from the creator. He said, creator tell him that he must go and tell the people that they must throw themselves forward because I'm talking to them and they're not here. The virgin passed away, God bless his soul. And then he gave his soul rest in peace. And he gave me that message before he passed away. He said, Father, tell him to go and tell the people that that they must touch with their cell phone because they're not here when they talk to them. I'm not talking to them anymore. They're not here when they talk to them No, I hear you. I hear you. If, if you want a scientific breakdown of that, the, the, first of all, the, the radio waves that our cell phones emit are the radio waves that bees use to communicate and they're dying because they're giving misdirection, right? Towards life. And if those radio waves can be messed up, what are you thinking about the radio waves that come out of the, like, at least black hair, the nappy, curly hair that has the coils that... Antennas. Okay? Antenna. These are antennas. All right, so there's also vibrations in there that these phones are disrupting. So, that's, that's for those who think that that was just... Uh, uh, yeah. They are worshiping these things. Yeah. Yes. See? So if not true, and then it's not gonna let you uh dog. Who read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. And we have never seen kids in the Bible. That word is never not seen in the kids Bible. In the Bible. Everybody so, where we are right now. Well, we are the children. We kids. are dedicating our children to, to the devil. devil. Everybody is the horned beast, right? The horned beast. Kids. When we see what you bring them act up and do all these things, you bring them to the devil. So when he starts, he gives them direction. Because you said that he's there, their father. So he's going to start talking to them. He just says, we have to say, pick me. My youth, my offspring, my belly wash, my water. Don't call them kids. Every day, we hear kids are kids. What is the process of going on? It's worldwide. It's worldwide. And it is a spirit. This is a spirit. You know? Okay, one, hold on. Too much good information. Let's keep it once at a time so everybody can get this. Remember when you remember when Father and Christ were born. And the king, Sino and Greek. The king, ah, the king. Thank you, Father. Who's the Christ? So I see you here, so. Satan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. So we stop calling kids. The hunt for the black messiah. It's the hunt for the black messiah. How we run kids? Because imagine their own parents calling them 
and you're saying that, giving away your Out of ignorance, out of ignorance, out of ignorance. And that's what I was going to say, after the elder, when the elder done. So, that's your thing. Hold on. You didn't get to figure that. All right, go ahead. Sister, you said pick that word comes from pick a nigga, so that's not a good word. All right, you won't say pick a nigga. All right, go ahead. Break it down. Break down pick a nigga, though, please. No, I know pick a nigga comes from yeah, pick a nigga. Yeah, I'm picking it. It's pick the same thing. Is that a couple of You know what pick a nigga comes from? When they used to hang us. And they used to, I used to take us. It's, yeah. it's the Caribbean rip version of picnic. It's the same thing. Yeah. Yes. He's saying, don't say it. Once, once so God said, me, you were children. Yes. No, That's what the Bible says. Yeah, this is a reason. That's what God said. Same thing that God said. Yes, sir. Uh, well, you know, that's a, that's a good reasoning that they're bringing up because uh, brethren uh, from the Zero Violence Louis. Yeah, Louis. Brother Louis and I were reasoning about that, and that's an important thing we have to do. It's, it's, it's a, our reconstruction, right? And, um, you know, reconciling with our own self. Um, a lot of the words that we use, I think, we don't know where they come from. And that's, 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 if I just kind of use that Drake thing again, that you end up with Drake. Because you have all these people using words and things like that, they don't know.